With transition questions, remember, we are really dealing with an ideas question. So it, it may seem like a grammar question because there's no actual literal question, but we want to lump this into the ideas category because it's much more about what the sentences are saying. And since this transition is in the middle of a sentence, we're really just looking at what comes before that semicolon and what comes after it. And we want to use dumb summaries of our transition words to better understand what's going on. So let's look at the sentences first. NW Rota 1 is far below the ocean's photic zone where sunlight drives photosynthesis. So photosynthesis, sunlight, and it's far below. So it seems to be out of the realm of sunlight. Uh, blank, bacteria supporting a unique food web have adapted to this perpetually dark environment. So supporting a unique food web and it's still dark. So there's a clear contrast between sunlight and darkness and between kind of being out of the zone and adapting to it anyway. So there's a, there's a contrast and you might say negative positive, but at least there's some sort of contrast in the sentence. So we're looking for a contrast word. And even though these are words that we don't normally use when we talk to our friends, they all correspond to normal words. That's what the dumb summary idea is about. Nevertheless is more of a but word. Afterward is kind of like then. Furthermore is also or and. And similarly is kind of also also. So it's pretty obvious. We want a contrast word. We want a but. We want nevertheless. And so what you want to do is you want to be able to quickly recognize which transition words correspond to the normal words that you use every day and then kind of treat them like those words. There will be cases where maybe there's two but words and one of them is right and the other is wrong, but it's very rare on the SAT. So for one thing here, I would probably be able to get rid of C and D because they both kind of have the same dumb summary. So it's unlikely that they're both right. But I think this one's pretty obvious once we use the negatives and positives to get some dumb summaries and to just understand the structure of the sentence. It's pretty clear it's a nevertheless situation.